Yeah, so Harry and I uh, share the Mazda R24P as full-time teammates, and also uh, I get to uh, share the, the Ford GT with him as well. Uh, we did uh, Sebring, and now coming up here real soon, headed to the 24 Hours of Le Mans, which I'm really, really excited about. Harry's been getting me up to speed, and uh, we're looking good, I think. Yeah, I'm, I'm really, really excited to get back to Le Mans. I did it uh, quite a few years ago, 2013, so I've done it once. Um, and I'm looking to get back primarily because you, once you experience it that first time, you're kind of on information overload, spectacle overload, and then when you get to go back again, uh, I, I'm looking forward to it because I can maybe soak in all the other little details a little bit more of the event. Going back with, with in a car that we have as, shot, as good a shot as anybody to win it, um, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to be there, uh, Max Attack in that capacity. Yeah, it's fantastic. I mean, really grateful to Ford and Multimatic and Mazda over the last couple of years being able to run over here full time as well as uh, combining that with the World Endurance Championship. So being very busy flying back and forth, but it's been really fantastic. Absolutely loving racing in IMSA uh, and with uh, Mazda Team Yost. I mean, um, yeah, we're improving all the time and uh, I think from where the car started at the end of 2017 to now, we've made ma massive strides and we're knocking on the door for wins and podiums at every race. Uh, obviously, there's some real synergy between the two programs uh, via Multimatic, and uh, you know they uh, you know, run a lot of the engineering in the Mazda Team Yost program. Multimatic Europe obviously run the Ford Chip Ganassi um, Team UK side, and so there's a lot of crossover between personnel over winter testing in the Mazda program. We've had a lot of Ford guys there, so I guess, well, Multimatic guys who run the Ford program, so I guess uh, you know, they've got an opportunity to take a look at Jonathan as an option, and uh, you know, from, from my side, it's, it's perfect to have the same teammate uh, in, in, in America as well as, it, as in uh, Le Mans, and you know, he did a fantastic job. It's uh, Sebring with P3, very unlucky not to win on the Friday, and then getting the IMSA car on the Saturday, so it's, uh, it's been busy for us. But uh, you know he's fitted in really well. Andy and I, obviously, the last four years we've had some great success. And Imsa finished second in, uh, in WEC, sorry, finished second in championship in 2017. And I think you know we were second at Le Mans in 2017 as well. So hopefully we can go one step better this year. I know we've got the best man possible as our third driver in the car. And uh, obviously the GT, you know, it's a it's a well proven car. So we'll see what we can do. Uh, I mean, not, not really. I think all the GT cars now definitely have more downforce than they did, say, 10 years ago, and uh, they're a lot more refined. Uh, so I guess from that point of view, like, it's not maybe as big a transition as it used to be, but they're still very, very separate beasts. I mean, um, you know, the GT is obviously a lot heavier, uh, not much downforce compared to a prototype car, but at the same time, the GT is such a fantastic car to drive. It's so receptive. It almost tells you what it's going to do before it does it. You never really have any big moments in the in the car. It's so well balanced, and you know, Ford did a fantastic job, obviously, to design that car. We went to Le Mans in 2016 and won as a team. So uh, it's it's well proven round there, and um, you know, it, like, it's such a nice car to drive that you know, I said to Jonathan on his first morning, like by lunchtime you'll be on the pace. I've got no no worries about it. You know, just go and use your approach, and it was the case at Sebring and. You know, jumped in in the race and was as quick straight away as me and Andy. So it's a, it's a fantastic car to drive from that point of view. Yeah, it, you know, for, I've been a part of uh, the Mazda platform in motorsport for a lot of years now. Um, and I've been through a lot of the, the tough times with uh, Mazda's prototype program. And to to now, where we're kind of at the top, we're we're fighting for wins we're right there quick laps in the race you know poles and qualifying um, to kind of break through and share that with with the team with everybody that's worked so hard with John Doonan with with all of Mazda and Mazda executives and employees that have stood behind the program and I've developed relationships with all of them over the years I would be really really special I mean we, we're close we can we can taste it now you know we we left mid Ohio second and third double podium which is a great successful greatly successful weekend but we were disappointed in the sense that we were so close to that win so I think that's just the attitude that we have I mean there's a lot of pressure when you when you look at it that way but but that, that's just kind of where we are with this program. We need to get that win, and it'll be really, really special.